<laughs> Damn it, he made it. Uh. Fucking Steve. Max is in here a second ago and he goes, look. And I go, what? I don't know what he's pointing at. He goes, we're missing somebody. Steve was in the bathroom. He peed on the toilet seat for sure. <laughs> he heard Lynn counting down and he got scared. I know. I was, what I was saying, talk quieter. It's I hard didn't to want, do I wanted him to a countdown. You know that, right? It's all good. I'm it's good. a very casual show that we run here, ladies and gentlemen, on the <laughs> Sam Livecast. Yeah. But you know what? As I say to my kids, my kids, when they would say, um, uh, we'd say, all right, we, let's go. We got to go to school. We're leaving in one minute. They go, got to go to the bathroom. Is there time? I would say, there's always time to go to the bathroom. <laughs> there is. Steve, Except uh, when you're doing a somehow, you know, it's like the Pavlov's dog thing. The bell rings, the dog gets ready to eat the treat. Steve walks into this house <laughs> and has to go to the bathroom. And I'm not talking about taking a pee. Number two, every time. Oh, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Oh, we're just all being honest with each other here. True. I'm not lying. Am I lying? There's something about my house. Is that right? It's relaxing. It's relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dude. Uh, Shit. That's funny. Well, it's our Thursday. It's I'm our sorry, Thursday. I always do this. It's our Friday. It is our Friday. But people say that. People that have those those like ex long weekends, people that work four days mm -hmm. to do the Monday, Thursday thing, which I think if a company can pull that off for their employees is a great idea. That's such oh, a great yeah. idea. Who would not want a three day oh, every I, I weekend? I used to do that. You, uh, where? At Fox. You always had a three? Yeah, at the end of nice. my last year, yeah. Wow. Yep, four days, 10 hours. and then. Did you have a favorite bathroom at Fox <laughs> when you were there? <laughs> of course. You did. <laughs> Third stall down from the left. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of stalls, we, we go to Jesus Christ Superstar last night. As you know, we left here in a hurry, so we didn't, we didn't miss it. And uh, these guys just all said, dude, the, um, the brie thing with the mango, hot mango chutney and the... So good. so good. So good. It was great, right? So we had a couple bites of that. So we go there, and you can get cocktails at the theater, of course. I'm standing there getting a cocktail, and I look up, and who do I see? My doctor. My yeah. doctor and his wife. Dr. Heller and Mrs. Heller are standing there. And my first thought is, I know he's looking at my cocktail going, <laughs> you know, I asked him the last time we had a, a, a physical how much he's drink. He probably shouldn't have that in his hand. Oh yeah, there's the music right there. So, great. Here's the program. I have a question. Did it look yeah. kind of like this? Here, right here. Oh. It looked nothing like that. Oh, you told me to find the image. That was the first yeah, one. Yeah, no, it's so funny because that's... Look at no, this. I hold on, I saw the uh, La Jolla website. See if you can find the oh. yeah, pictures on the La Jolla one. Okay. Uh, I will try. Let me see. Let me see if there's pictures in here. Hold on, I got the program. Was It, it was pretty rocking though, right? It was a... It was a, a modern stylized version of this so there was you know there wasn't rocks and boulders and you know sand and stuff like that here's the set sort of if you can see if we can't find it on the uh, on their website watch the fire here's the set so you know it's pretty cool it's very stylized it's very hip it's very modern it's very sleek but this old story and they dress in sort of hip clothes but are but but decidedly older sort of looking mm -hmm. It's great. It was a great performance. We really liked it. Great music. I love the music of Jesus Christ Superstar. But I'm sitting here today going through this, and this little piece of paper falls out, and it says, For this performance of Jesus Christ Superstar, the role of Jesus Christ, usually played by Paul Nolan, will be pair played by Jeremy Kushner. Well, we got Jesus ripped off. So <laughs> we did. We got, it. we got a substitute, uh, Jesus. Hey, look at this video. What? On their site. They look like this. That's it. All right. That's King Herod. And every time I've seen the play, King Herod is always made out to be very jolly and um, <laughs> effeminate, and it's great. But you can see the set. The set's pretty cool. Go full screen. Yeah, that was. Uh, there's Mary. And up above is, I is loved her. Judas. She was amazing. That was the Mary that we got last night. And I loved her dress. Judas was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Was he black again? He wasn't black. He wasn't. Okay. I have no, two videos no, going no, on. no. Hang on. You know, they made I think a, he was Jewish, a, actually. He's think a about that. White Jewish. But what? Oh, oh. In the film. Why, why he got to be a black guy? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why they did that. I don't know. He was great, though. But if you think about it, the, he was amazing mm -hmm. in the film. But if you think about it, back in that day, 
I mean, people from that part of the world were all colors. Right? Right, right, right. absolutely. I mean, it's yeah, no... Yeah, absolutely. There it is. Your picture shows up <laughs> when we talk to you. I like We got to sort out this camera. Here's the camera problem, ladies and gentlemen. The board that we have only accepts three video inputs. Is that correct? Um, not the board, but yeah, the computer. The computer only accepts three video inputs. Mm -hmm. We HDMI. need to change that. We wanted to see if we were going to like this before we did it. And now I think we can do that, actually, because we have a lot more. Look at Lucky grazing back there. Now we're legit. Where? He's Where just grazing in the background. Uh, Lucky's oh, over yeah, here. Yeah, oh, yeah. well, that's weird. Right there. <laughs> yeah. The guy pat him. <laughs> <laughs> Patting his butt. So uh, let me read this because we were going to, you know, this was, this was the holiday traditions week. Um, uh, when's the, when's Christmas? Christmas is the twenty fifth, fifth, which is Sunday. Sunday? Uh huh. No, wait, that's no. Christmas Eve day. Jeez, don't do this. <laughs> Let's not confuse him. And wait, and so then uh, the twenty sixth is Monday. Yeah. So I, I guess technically we could have held the Kwanzaa stuff for Monday. Yeah. But I wanted to all encapsulate it into this week. So next week will be about New Year's and end of year stuff, that kind of thing. So I found this on the internet today because I'll be honest, I didn't really know very much about Kwanzaa. And I would guess, and maybe, maybe people can tell us on Facebook, how many people that are not uh, African American, black, knew a whole lot about Kwanzaa? I don't uh, think that many people know. Uh, I agree with you. So here's what it says. Uh, 2011 will see the 46th annual Kwanzaa. Correctly spelt K W A N Z double A, two A's at the end. The African American holiday celebrated from December 26th to January 1st. It's estimated this year some 18 million African Americans will take part in it. Hmm. It's not a religious holiday, nor is it meant to replace Christmas. It was created by Dr. Malona Karenga, a professor of black studies in 66. At this time of great social change for African Americans, Karenga sought to design a celebration that would honor the values of ancient African cultures and inspire African Americans who were working for progress. Sorry, progress. <laughs> progress. I slipped into my Canadian accent there again. <laughs> so it's based on the year-end harvest festivals that have taken place throughout Africa for thousands of years. Mm. Uh, the name comes from Swahili, and it means first fruits of the harvest. So now I'm trying to figure out what Kwanzaa food is. And I asked Steve, and what did Steve say? Uh, there, put I you said, on the spot. I said, Google it. <laughs> That's what I said. So here's the, yeah, nice try. Here's the thing. Uh, there really is not a, a centered collection of recipes that are distinctly Kwanzaa-esque. Mm -hmm. I mean, like they, Hanukkah. You know, I think in the beginning, like Hanukkah, right? Like, like our people. Like have. the oil and the, and the potato latkes and the donuts that we did Monday. Uh, I, I think in the beginning it was meant to be um, uh, African-oriented kind of food, but now it has become this sort of community festival that takes into all kinds of foods. And you'll see, you know, fried chicken and um, and uh, greens, collard greens and uh, green beans. And I saw one thing today talked about some amazing macaroni and cheese. But but the one thing that seemed to hold true for all Kwanzaa the food celebrations is there seems to be an emphasis on vegetables that you harvest this time of year. Mm. And potatoes mm. and sweet potatoes came out of that. So I'm doing a sweet potato thing tonight. Oh, yeah. sweet. Nice. I love sweet potatoes. Sweet I don't know that fries. this, I don't think you're going to look at what I'm doing and go, oh, Kwanzaa, but <laughs> right. you're going to look at it and you go, ah, I like what he's doing with that. I wanted to use sweet potatoes and I wanted to do something that you guys could could uh, take a little something away with from my work and I've already gotten shit from Max because he thinks I'm doing too much. <laughs> no. I got a little lecture before Max about, look, if you can do two things that take five minutes or 10 things that take only five minutes more do two things. In my mind, that is not the right way to think. I want to give you more <laughs> than less. But as Max says that, both Kelly and Blue Steel go like this. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, an example, though. Is what like, is an example? Okay, like last night yeah. when you made the... The little pizza things, right? I made the little bruschetta with the sauce and the ricotta, which, by the way, were amazing. Amazing. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Uh, but you didn't have to make 20 of them. You could easily have just made five. 
Great. See what I'm saying? That's, yeah, that's the point I think Max is making. Oh, I see. I get the point. Okay, so F you next time. <laughs> I'll, just make, I'll just make enough bites for my fucking self. <laughs> right. Is that what you want me to do? No. I knew Kelly and I were bolting, and I wanted to leave food here for you. Douches. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for caring. <laughs> Damn I it. I did not even venture into this argument. So I know. You just sit there. I know, because you like to eat. I, You're ha- I could make a hundred of something and you would be happy with it. <laughs> you got six foot five of something that you got to no, fill up, man. That brie was fantastic, though. I did finish that off. Thank yeah, you. No, no, the brie me, was really good. Dad, and, me, Jessica, Lynn, and Steve had a little party here once you guys left with the brie <laughs> and those little uh, things that you made. You guys... <laughs> We said finally. Yeah. You guys He's up there gone. trying on my underpants again? <laughs> Do you want Are you to show doing that? That, that, was that, post, that was Jessica. That was Jessica. Right. This that's why she's not here. Oh, she's look, she's off debris. wearing my boots. We've oh, got, God. We've got photos. Check out the brie. Oh, I haven't uh, seen that. that wow. Was, and about a minute later, it was empty. Yeah, oh, no. I bet. No, I. Yeah. It is so good. You got to make it. And you know you're all going to be going to some kind of celebration over the next week and a bit, right? Mm-hmm. You've, we've got Christmas. We've got Kwanzaa. We've still got Hanukkah to go. There's nothing that that won't work for any of those celebrations. And you've got New Year's. Yeah. And it's one of those things. I said this once before. You can take it to somebody's house and make it there and bake it there. And Kelly would argue, no, you can't do that. You oh, can't expect to have oven space. Wait, Steve, what happened to the shamish? I know. <laughs> it got burnt. Oh, oh, it no. oh, it's gone. You can always find a little oven space. You don't have to put it on a baking sheet. Just put it on a few pieces of foil. Cram it in beside a turkey or a roast beef. You're going to be fine. I mean, mm. I think it took you longer to figure out how the oven worked than to put it together. <laughs> yeah. What's that mean? Oh, I'm just saying it, it was really quick. fast. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh exactly. no, wait, and then we exactly. didn't even tell you about how we were. Me and Lynn I had heard. to figure out how to turn the oven off. <laughs> it was blowing and making fan noises, and then we opened it up, and we could like we put our hand in it. it we were like, that is hot. not off. <laughs> <laughs> and then this was past the time that you guys had already gone into the theater, so you left your but phone. A- Shit! What? It's still on? Fuck, no, these are off. Fucking potatoes. Uh, oh, 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 God. Oh, the live cast. Just got- I said it's six o'clock. Who'd you say it to? I oh, I was know. in the bathroom, so it wasn't me. You said at six? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you, you Nothing. told us. Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Nothing, never mind. Well, I'm glad you got that turn up so what does that mean for the show? I don't know yet. I'm just going to turn up the okay, heat. Okay, well, just keep me updated back here. Uh, we can have you know, burn. The, the cheat for those is the same as potatoes. You can stick them in the microwave. I know, right? but you got to oh. be there and you do it. Oh, okay. I, mean, I can't really. Now I'm, I'm not going to now wrap them up myself. Damn it. <laughs> we should be okay. This is so much like my cooking show. Yep. And you know, here's the funny thing. So much people, like your life. People, what do you mean? <laughs> it is. People say all the time, you know, that whole like stupid, forgetting, clumsy, dropping, breaking, burning, cutting thing that he does on TV. That's just for the TV, right? No, no look, it's, <laughs> it's not for the TV. You just saw it in action. Can I show you what I got for Hanukkah tonight? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's badass. Kelly gave me two things tonight. Three things. Which, but one. Oh, three things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which, by the way, I believe that we were giving each other a trip away next year and therefore not buying presents we're not getting each other anything honey because we're going to take that trip right of course we're not so now now you look like an idiot no i don't because i have a present that has come in it'll be here i think what's the date today i think it'll be here the 25th yeah it's been special order right i order it tomorrow morning so by the so by the way the first things that i get from kel are gum Old school gum. Oh, old school. Really old school. I love this stuff. Clove, the uh, blackjack and the Beemans, right? Mm -hmm. Which she says, as I pull them out, she goes, that's all the gum that I loved when I was younger. So (laughs) she gave me a present for her. We all understand that, right? (laughs) We know how this works. I got her present, which is badass. I got that thing right there, Steve, that goes on your head. I should get it. Hold on. Here. Oh, my God. You want to take a few? Oh, man. You want to take a few? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Give it a Empty shot. shot. It's a basketball hoop that <laughs> that goes on your head. Case. Wait, hold on. Here, I got it. It's a basket <laughs> case, which is called a basket case. How's indicative that? of you. Oh, oh, I thought I got it. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, just don't try and be my face. You gotta. <laughs> oh. Here, throw one, mom. 
So. I don't have uh, any more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is one of those things that, like, when people are listening, they have no idea what's I going know. on. But there's right. so, oh, so imagine a basketball <laughs> hoop. Imagine a basketball hoop on my head. <laughs> That's, That's basically exactly what, what this is. is. Exactly what it is. <laughs> and you wear it. You wear it with like a headband. <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. <laughs> I can't get any lower than this. This is gonna be tonight's screenshot. Wait, now, by we the can, way. Boom. now we can watch you, Mom. Throw some. We can. I don't want to have any. Oh. Boom. Yeah, oh, Steve. Steve. Give Check it out. Steve, one. give me a couple. Oh. Oh, oh, oh boom. Steve is oh, playing real fast. Oh, <laughs> that one hurt. He's competitive. That one He's hurt. Not gonna give me any more. Oh. Oh, you're just like. Hello. Oh, keep oh. your day job, man, and do not go into the WNBA because they don't need Zach you there. Zach was really good at Zach it. Zach was good it. at it, right? No, I was good. I was getting on in Zach. Oh, you were? Okay. Can I take it off now? Look how yeah. low you are now. I know. I feel very little. I feel like a five-year-old. <laughs> there you go. All right. Here's, we're better now. He likes to sit up really high. Okay, but check this out. Here's the one. Do I need to move this Wait, book? Where, where did you get that basketball thing, by the way? Kelly? Cosplus? I just posted Cost it. Cost Plus is, you know what? I had a conversation with somebody about Cost Plus the other day because they were talking about all the great food that you can get there. It's amazing. You and I thought the food that was at Cost Plus was like olive oil that was a little on the old side and they just had it on the shelf. And, you know, it was like a furniture place that had olive oil too. That was old. <laughs> well, but people buy stuff, food, food stuffs there all the time. It's like a world market. Yeah. Well, that's what yeah. they call it. The jarred stuff is like it's it's pretty decent, and then they their beverage selection is really good. They have a crazy beer selection. Yeah, it's like right. Yeah, from all over. So, why am I doing this with this hand? I don't I know. Don't know. Do they have mean? a crazy beer selection. <laughs> totally crazy. I'm like oh King God, Herod it's last so night. Crazy. You got one more present. I'm getting to this present. Oh, oh yeah, I saved the last. You always go big on the last one, Kel. Ready for this? Which camera? Put it like three. Yeah. Were you like here? Yeah. Want to focus on that? Yeah. You focus on that, and then I'll put it right there okay. when you're ready. Yep, I'm ready. Here we go. Yes. One, two, three. Check this out. Okay, um. it's a book. You can see it's a book. Sam Livecast on the back. That's what she said. <laughs> Except there's no uh, little apostrophe thing there. I was in a hurry. That's okay. <laughs> so Kelly made this. When did you make this? Under duress, like five days ago. Wow. Wow. Okay, so check out what's inside. Hold on. These are pictures. We could sell this, or we could. How much was this? <laughs> Seventy bucks or something. Wow. Whoa. So not only does it include all the 94. best of Blake Puente, ninety-four of Blake's, and I have ninety-five right now tonight, and I wish it was in the book. What is it? You'll Let's see, see it. what he did tonight. You'll see. It. <laughs> but I don't see. And here's the thing: I don't see most of these because. Um, I don't just I don't always go back and look at the uh, Facebook the next day, which mm -hmm. is a bummer. So not only are there these, but there's the food shots. Why can't I do this? Yeah. Can I do it over you here? You just want to do camera Sorry. one? Okay, you just. Well, I, just I'm trying right. to. Oh, there you go. That's fine. Yeah. Is that good? There you go. Why can't we get both of them? Nice. Look at that. Is nice. Okay. Oh, you want both? Look I'm at sorry. these shots. I'm just trying to show both pages. Banana bread, French toast, uh, the Jap the uh, Jap dog. dog that now is in New York. Yeah. What do you We're call it, talk Sam? The spread around, read around that you do? The oh, s s uh, you used to do that with the kids. So it's called a sweep around. When you when you when you <laughs> read to little kids, you go like this. And then Jack said, "Mary, come up to the top of the hill and rub my shoulders." <laughs> and then you show the picture like this. Sam used to do around. that when he read to the kids. It was so cute. It's called a sweep around. Sweet. But look, so there's more Blake stuff. Is this the best way to do it, Steve? Sure. That way, and then there's pic. Look at, oh my God, like look, stupid pictures of me. Unbelievable. <laughs> the red face. Sam. Um, the the um, uh, red pepper and blue cheese bread. Oh yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I haven't seen this page yet. Like Lynn was so excited, he wanted to pull one up himself. Here's oh, the new one, it's Sam. a new one. Here's a new, new one. one. Oh, a new I invented one. that. <laughs> <laughs> That's from tonight. Thanks, Blake. Oh my god! Oh, oh that, look I at think these that one, pictures. The shrimp one is my favorite picture in that whole book. I think. Look That's at that. Cool. You mean the uh, scallops. scallops? Scallops. Sorry. Yeah, bacon scallops. Wow. Correct. We throw a lot of powdered sugar around. Okay, you house. know what? <laughs> if people only knew the food that was going down on this. Look at the eggs. In this live cast. Oh, this is live. Live? Look at the eggs. Oh, I can't do this. Which one do you want? I, I like that one, but I like this one too. 
Oh, like he's going to bark at the eggs. The one pro... No, don't, why would you do that? <laughs> Look at Something tweaked him. Look, there's more. <laughs> there's more. Oh, here's a good shot. Here's these, uh, the, the oh. double bar pulp. Double ballpark dogs <laughs> on one side, <laughs> amazing, and lucky look on at, the other. Let's see what he does. Wait till he lucky. Lucky, look at yourself. <laughs> All right, that's oh, it. He's okay. actually but this book, how many pages is this book? A lot. And the Guy Fieri stuff at the end. Oh, come on. Yes. <laughs> okay, this is amazing. Yeah, good job. I, and so, just let me say, if you haven't made a book of these, I don't mean these particular pictures, but this kind of book for your friends, mm. for your family, for your loved ones. Was this a mixed book, Kel? Yep. Here, check this out right here. Here it is. We'll pimp them because it's it deserves it. We you know did what? this. You can actually request that page to be omitted from the book. This. Again? Yeah. So this is who they are. And you know what? You shouldn't because it's you do this online. It's like the Apple book thing, but That's it is so simple. It Even is so more simple. simple than Apple? I, I think it, I don't know. Is, is it, it more simple than, than Apple, Apple Kill? I, I, you know what? I don't know. They're equal. They're all the same. They're great. Ke they come out fast. Kelly made one for somebody recently on here, and it was, oh. it was great. So that was, no, oh, lucky stop God. it. Jeez. The kid. He's so insecure. God. Yeah. Sit down. <laughs> hey, Lynn, do you have that FedEx thing? I can pull up in just one second. Yeah, no problem. So I, I think, you, you know what? You might have seen this. Probably have seen this. I don't know. It's oh, been, is this the guy with the... Yeah, it's, it's been going around. It's been going around. I, you know what? I meant to get to it last night, and, and it was just such a shortened uh, really quick. live yeah. cast that we couldn't do it. But So check this out. I call this the FedEx tool. Here's a guy delivering delivering a flat screen monitor. Here we go. Watch this. Ready? And it's like not a mystery. What Keep it watching. Is. Nope. Ready? Flat screen monitor. <laughs> Boom. No. There you go. Can you believe that? Play that again. You got to see that again. Are you Can serious? you believe that? No, it's ridiculous. And you know what? I've I always liked. FedEx. I've always liked the delivery people. See, I, I mean, just sometimes you know what? we might have been having a bad day, and I'm not know. like legitimizing it, but I'm just saying. I know, but FedEx is usually pretty good. No, but you are legitimizing it if you say you have a bad day. No, I said you know if you have a bad FedEx. day, do something else. Don't do something to somebody. FedEx is a whole. somebody's stuff. No, oh, what? That is so I said funny. FedEx as a whole has always taken care of my packages. Yeah, they take care agree. of my stuff. Yeah. It's funny how nonchalant about it he was. It's like <laughs> everything like, he delivered, he delivers like that. Yeah. Here's your. Antique champagne glasses, <laughs> boom. <laughs> Here's your four dozen hand-picked eggs from your uncle's farm in Bermuda, boom. Uh, it's just, well, it's nonsense. I want an uncle with a farm anymore. in Bermuda. But so has FedEx responded to that? Do we know? I haven't yeah, seen I'm, I'm going to Google yeah. that. Yeah, the boys will find out. Like it's, mm -hmm. <laughs> the blue steel shows up in the corner. <laughs> I, I hate FedEx. Just Why? I'm throwing it out there. Yeah, well, well, by the way, at my address here, I, I don't hate FedEx. <laughs> so when you bring shit this right. week, then... They're already mean to me, so... We Why like are they our, mean to you? Oh, are you surprised? Everybody's <laughs> Everyone's mean to me. Mean oh, yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. I like FedEx. When we were... Okay, when, look, if you, if you pay for a package... <laughs> yeah. You, you spend the money, like 50, 60 bucks, for an overnight delivery. Right? Are you talking about your China experience? No, 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 no. no okay. No. That's a whole other deal. All right. It's a good story, though. Yeah, it is a good story. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, if you spend, you know, 60, yeah, 70 yeah, bucks, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's obviously an important package to you, right? Yeah. And, and they have your phone number. You give them the phone number. Yeah. But if they come, say like I live in a condo. Yeah. And they, they buzz, you know, buzz the beeper and you don't answer. No one's at the front door. Yeah. Then they just leave. They don't try to call you. They don't. Try to like leave it with the neighbor. I, I don't think they just see, leave. I'm so, I see. I would not expect FedEx or UPS or any of the other delivery guys to phone you when they're standing there and they don't get a knock at the door. If you pay 60 bucks for an overnight delivery, does that not scream mm. important package to you? I think Come if it, I, th I think if you pay 50 or 60 bucks for an overnight delivery, you want it real bad, you better be standing right fucking there, bro. And I did. Well, 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 you were in I the bathroom. No, nope, I stood there two, three hours because they said it was a window, 11 to 1. And I had a flight to catch at like 1.30. Yeah. And they said, you know, it'll be there 11 to 1. I'm like, can you give me something more specific? No. Nope. 
And? It came at 11.05. <laughs> I mean, uh, 1.05, like at the very, very end. It's unbelievable. Hey, real quick. You yeah. want to hear FedEx's like, Twitter statements about yes. it? Yes. 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 We saw the video, and quite frankly, we uh, were shocked. Mm -hmm. uh, Max is no working. <laughs> this is careless treatment of our customer package by our courier and will be addressed. And then so we take pride and quality in the service we provide. Will not tolerate any irresponsible act. And they said that they've, they've like basically reassured everybody that. It's crazy how they know. Is he fired? I want to hear that he's fired. Um, <laughs> you know what? Nothing Here's what I him. think. I think it's Christmas. It could have been a present. They should be able to kick him in the nuts <laughs> and then fire him. Don't well, you then, think? And then fire him. So they done. also reassured him. Daniel, that stand right him. here. Spread your legs a little bit. Boom. Oh, by the way, you're fired. <laughs> Out he goes holding, holding himself. You're weird. You're <laughs> I totally think it's awesome. Weird. You know what? If the FedEx guys or anybody at any company knew, if they effed up so bad that they were going to get fired, <laughs> they'd get kicked in the nuts first. Sam Law. What would you do to a woman, though? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. There's no, there's no, what's the equivalent of that? Is there an equivalent? No. No. There's nothing. No, Here, can't. hold on. This is what <laughs> I Guy gets kicked in the nuts, women's breasts get like, slapped or something. <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> hurt. Okay. Look, you Some of you guys what? even like that. Well, I did not mean to look at my wife and imply <laughs> you just that did. she likes that. I did not mean to imply that. <laughs> you You're did. lucky I was reading Becky Winter's <laughs> postings because I missed the whole thing. And I know it was complete it's nonsense. A woman like that and you look right at her. You can't deny that, though. Yeah, I was going to say I'm not saying there's thing. anything wrong with that. I'm just saying that my wife is not one of those. She likes other stuff. She doesn't like that. Okay, so to talk about something real, yeah. um, I just wanted to point out that FedEx is issuing their um, statements through Twitter. You know what? Uh, in, a, in a techie world, that's you know that's pretty a pretty good that's cool. a very good observation, Max. Yeah, it's a very good. That's an observation by a twenty-three year old. I mean, no. Here's something else yeah. I noticed. Yeah. I see to I see Toyota commercials, and instead of at the end of the commercial where it's like the Toyota logo and it says www.toyota.com, yeah. it says facebook.com slash toyota yeah 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 yeah, yeah. they're All putting out their facebook sites right. ahead of their own websites it's crazy because yeah i know i because because that's where stuff happens there's activity there right. my yeah. facebook facebook.com forward slash sam the cooking guy or the whatever it is the cooking guy that's where this you know the back and forth yeah. and the there's there's feelings and there's stuff that goes on there there's excitement right you know many times can I interrupt for a second? Yes. You've opened your presents. Yeah. And I think Max's present is so cute. Will you show them? Oh, that is cute. I don't... That's... No, the part... Uh, no, you're so, do it in two parts, Max. What are you wearing first? Oh. Don't show the other part yet. Oh, man. Way to be embarrassing. No, okay, go, go. so cute. Uh, okay. Can you do this? Jilly, Jilly got me this nice cashmere sweater for From my, Canada. For Monica. She that sent it down. It is very nice. And then, to make it even better... And a little more embarrassing. Penis? She sewed a heart into it. Oh, oh my oh. god, <laughs> that's cute. How cute is that? You know what that is? That's really cute. Thanks, Jelly. <laughs> that's the cutest you thing know what? I've ever seen. Mom used to sew hearts, and in... oh no, wait, no, you didn't. <laughs> wait. Wow. I'm, I'm the one <laughs> not sending my present tonight. Yeah, you don't know what's oh. coming for you. Oh, you're it's too bad liar. we won't be able to show it because. <laughs> Such Saturday or Sunday, you're going to have something so amazing over there that people are going to be, wow, but we can't do it because it won't be a live cast night, sorry. Such a liar. <laughs> oh. It's always the Can mom. we give away some tickets to, uh, to Sam Live? Oh, by the way, just let me say this. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. If you're in San Diego, Who's I'm going to be... back? <laughs> That's grabbing me. a chair. What is he doing? I was just getting the chair out oh, of the it's shot. Steve? Sorry. <laughs> How effing lazy can the guy be? Hey, well, but before no, no, no. I'm getting it out of the chair. shot. Uh, he's what? Oh he's moving the chair. Oh, you moved it? Oh, I thought he was getting himself... <laughs> a set. Oh, he's got a sit-down chair. I forgot. I it's right there. I hook him up with the chair always. <laughs> Wait, Sam. Yeah. But before we go into your life, can we... Are we going to be able to talk to someone on the phone today? Oh, oh can yeah. we? Just we can. I thought we were, going to, we were going to put the number out, or we got somebody no, already. We got Shane. We're going to call him right now. We got Shane. Should we yeah. do it? Well, let's, let's call Shane and see if Dial he picks it up. Because Shane uh, bitch showed on us last night. Well, no, he better he answer the he, phone. Technology you did not work. Shane last night. better answer. No, 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 no. Right Wait. Oh, the technology works. If he doesn't, I'm going to die. It'll be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm here. Oh, we got you. There he is. 
Shane. Hello. Shane. Can you hear us? Uh, oh, turn, he's got to turn his shit down. Wait, Shane, can you hear us? Yes. You, they say that on the radio all the time. Can you hear Sam? Turn your stuff down, dude. Can you hear Sam? Uh, I, can, I, I got it turned down. I can barely hear you, though. Right. Shane, can you hear me? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I can. <laughs> but is that, no, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can. Like normally? Yeah, fairly normally. Okay, good. That's because Lynn is scared of volume, and he always starts off low, and then he brings it up. No, no. We have Shane pretty loud. and we have For a six-foot-five guy, he's louder. a little bit pussy on the volume. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm your sound guy. It's my job. All right, so let's learn a little bit about Shane. Where do you live? Okay, I'm in Alabama right now. Wow. Wait, right now implies you're not always in Alabama? Uh, we, just, we just moved here. Oh, you so. did? And where'd you move from? Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Wow. But I'm from Nashville originally, so. Wait, what's this? Do we have Nashville. a Facebook picture of him? Oh, do we have a picture of you? Yeah, can we find you on Facebook? Yeah. yeah let's get a picture um, of you. Let's, let's, let's yeah, see. I'm with my lovely wife from last night. I, made the, I was the one that made the comment to your wife that you, ver you, you married up. Oh no, dude! Trust me, I know how That's I married. Funny. I know how I married. You're a kind man. I married way the f up, dude. All right, so tell us about you. Let's do. Let's just do. A, we'll do like three or four questions. How old are you? Uh, thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. What do you do? I am a uh, worship leader. Oh, hey. so at where? Uh at uh, First Presbyterian Church down here. I'm near Auburn, Alabama. Nice. And so tell me what it, tell me a worship leader means. Basically, I I I'm, I lead the music on Sunday morning and I tour around and do conferences and stuff. That's cool. Uh, Lynn could appreciate that because Lynn's Lynn Lynn tell us. I'm a worship leader as well. <laughs> really? Yeah. Sweet. Can we see that picture yes. any bigger? Because no, that's about the size of a peanut right now for <laughs> anybody that's looking. Uh, give me one second. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And so uh, how often do you watch the live cast? Um, we just, we just, we try to watch it every week. My kids are huge fans of yours. Nice. And does so anybody... I kind of have to, but I have to do the censor button because you drop yeah. the F-bomb sometimes. Uh, <laughs> no, I understand. And you don't get, you, but, you, don't, you don't get the TV show there, right? Uh, we don't. We we first started watching you in Charlotte, and yeah. that's how we found you. You were on one of the, but they hear worse from me, so I figure it's okay for them to watch your show. So. I tell you what, we're going to do. You know what? I will send a Christmas present to you guys, to the kids. Give us, give us the kid. Give us everybody's name and the family. Like uh, Facebook it back to us. I'll send you uh, okay. one of the one of the seasons that we put out on DVD. And that, and That'd that, be awesome, man. And that you can watch, and you don't have to worry about pushing any buttons for the kids because it's all it's all totally <laughs> legit. It's okay. They're sitting here now, so it's cool. That's good. I'm not going to say anything terrible. What the? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to see it's if you were right, watching. Man. That's nice. And, it, um, you know, I mean, I don't know if this is the wrong thing to say, but it looks like you married up too, brother. <laughs> man. I way overmarried. Way, <laughs> over way overmarried. That's awesome. Yeah. So what I do you like need? To, what can we answer for you? What do you want to know about food, cooking utensils, or anybody here? Well, I, you know, mainly I just you have always fascinated me since the first day um, we saw your television show, yeah. and and um, I think when you we were mentioning last night, you know, the real time cooking that just blew me away. Yeah, I could get three recipes in thirty minutes. That all these other cooking shows just wimp out, and you know mm. they're editing like crap. Yep. And, yes, they you are know, trying to get it all in. But um, you know, I think the the thing that just blew me away is I my in laws bought me your grill, your griddle. Yeah. Oh, the and, the and, flip grill. Yeah, yeah. And oh, yeah. when the first one that came got jostled around and. Maybe that, Fe maybe that FedEx guy delivered it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, man. I, I wouldn't ask that guy to be fired. I'd, be, I'd ask to be the one to kick him in the nuts. So. <laughs> Wait, ladies um, and gentlemen, that is coming from a worship leader. <laughs> I don't think it's such a radical concept. Uh -uh. Don't you think if the punishment <laughs> hey, was out there for people to know about, they might like straighten up a little bit more? Yeah. Christians are not perfect. Just forgive them. <laughs> so, um, 
But I just, I mean, I just, I always thought you had a great sense of humor. And, Thank you, my friend. You know, it was totally like one of those shows where you felt like you knew you. You just had one of those personalities. And, and um, it just, when I got the griddle um, for Christmas a couple of years ago, it was actually, it, the, uh, the power cord didn't work. Oh, I know. And I, I did I talk about this the other night? Ah, uh, did you? No, I said, I you know, know, the funny thing is, here's, here, I'll explain this. So the griddle comes... And it's a flip griddle, right? Cooking guy flip griddle. Right. One side is completely flat. Flip it over and it's ridged. Like you can get those cool grill marks on steaks and grilled cheese sandwiches and chicken or whatever. But to make it safe, it wouldn't heat up unless it was seated properly in this little cradle. And if you put it the wrong way, it wouldn't sit in the thing right and it wouldn't heat up. And that's so that you couldn't just have the hot part sitting off of the base for it and it would get hot. But the problem was they didn't really tell you that that well in the instructions. And so people would get it, it would come the right way, they would plug it in, it would get hot and they would use it. And then they would flip the thing around and they would email me. No, 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 oh. they'd email me or the company <laughs> oh, really? and they go, I just bought this thing and it doesn't work. Oh. And I would write I would write back, no, 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 it does work. You just have to seat it properly. And you now know that, right? No, I know that, but yeah. mine actually didn't work. Oh, it didn't I work. Was, oh, shit. I, sorry. Oh, well, but, the kids but, are there. But, I'm sorry. But what, <laughs> but what I was going to tell you is what blew me away is that you personally emailed me. And took care of the thing. Ah, and I just thought well, that was—I just thought that was—I thought that was unbelievable. And my biggest claim to fame, um, I used to live in Nashville, and I toured with a lot of different country acts. I was a full-time session player and a guitar player there. Wow! But I tell wow. everybody my biggest Impressive. claim to fame was when you actually followed me on Twitter. So you actually follow me on Twitter. All right, Twitter. look, you know what? That. You're giving me a really bad... You're ruining my image right now. I'm trying to be <laughs> cool and badass, and you're making me out to be a nice guy. And I, you know. <laughs> well, you are, and you're real, because I, the thing I love is, like, you know, every time I watch um, Giada yeah. uh, yeah. cook... Yes. I can't stand the cooks that do, and we're going to take the prosciutto, and all of a sudden it <laughs> no. becomes Italian. Uh, you're not the only I one. I can't stand it. You're not the only you know, one. I mean, I've never seen you go, and today we're going to cook some gavelta fish. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's right. All right, but, you know uh, what, Shane? Thank you. Here's what, here's what I want you to do. Make sure that somebody yeah. here has your address. I'll send some okay. DVDs. I want to wish you and the family and your up-married wife a very <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, a Happy New Year. Thanks, man. Thanks so much for letting me talk to you, Sam. Hey, you're Lynn, so welcome. So we tried last on. night, but I don't know what happened. You were no, we got you were busy chance. playing the guitar outside uh, or something like that. Wait, what's it? What's the temperature uh, there right now? Uh, it is. It was 72 degrees today. Oh, wow. Wow. oh what? Really? That's nicer than here. It is nice. yeah. it's nicer than here. And this this time last year, I was in Kelowna, BC. Oh, oh we know wait, about we Kelowna. Kelowna. We know Kelowna. Max and I both went to camp in Kelowna. For years. That is so Ten funny. Years. Wow. We almost doing? moved there last year. Is it a nice spot? Oh my gosh, man, it was awesome. But the the cost of living, absolutely. I I, Canada, I hear you. But there's free uh, medical insurance if you're Canadian. <laughs> well, Wait. Yeah, there you go. Steve. <laughs> yeah. One one question. Did did the griddle come with a, a DVD? Uh, no, it, I thought it, I thought that some of them said they were, but mine didn't come with a DVD. Oh, interesting. Okay, we're going to send it to you. I'm yeah. going to find that. That's weird. That was supposed to. That was like the best part. That was the best part. <laughs> Steve shot that. You know, we did that. All right. So we owe you some DVDs and the Griddle DVD. Hey, Shane. Uh, hey. Is this, is this your address? Or just text me your, um, your address, your phone number, your mobile phone number. Text me your uh, address and we'll get you hooked up. Okay, is this your mobile phone? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll okay, forward to Samson Maybe you out. have a conversation <laughs> off, <laughs> offline. Okay. Right. Our private Hey, and, and, and I message. want you to text me the church you're at, Link. Right. I'd love to look you up. Cool, absolutely. Hey, thanks hey, a lot, Shane. Well. Notice he didn't ask Guys, me to, to text him the synagogue that I was at. <laughs> hey, I don't know Jewish songs, man. That's <laughs> all right. Whatever, man. It's all just same notes. You know what? The Today Show booted me. They didn't let me do uh, Hanukkah stuff, and now you're dissing me for this. Oh, but whatever. Oh, hey, you no, know no, what? no, dude. I just wanted to, no, I wanted to tell you, bro. That was the other thing I wanted to tell you before I got off. When you totally uh, 
told Kathy Lee and Hoda to keep quiet so you could talk. Bro. By the way, I said I just, please. I was very polite about it. You, know, you were polite, but, man, I, I'm, I'm just glad somebody finally stepped up to the plate and did it. Thank man. you, Shane Martin. Uh, everybody, the great Shane Martin, thank you so much for uh, being with us tonight. Thanks, that was fun. guys. Y'all have a good night. All right, you too. Shane. There you go. That was cool. You know what he said at the end? Y'all have a good night. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. Alabama. Alabama. From Nashville to North Carolina to Alabama. And Y'all now have a good night. Us. We got to get the guy from Brazil. You know what? I'm just sorry that we didn't get to hear Mrs. Cool. Shane talk. I, I know. Maybe we get her next time. Yeah. She was there. She was cool. right there. I should have had her talk. I just love to hear. I, I, we need like a set of questions that we ask every caller. Where are you from? How did you hear about the live cast? What are you wearing below the waist <laughs> right now? <laughs> Yeah, it's That's like the actor's right. studio. The actor's studio. We'll make our own. Yeah, so um, what's, you know, uh, if you I could be a show, tree, actually. what kind of tree would you be? <laughs> I love that Jeez. show. Hey, Kara's got I a great idea. I love that show. What? Learn about the live casters. New segment? Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's good. I like that. Yeah. We learned a little bit about uh, uh, Addy that last night. We did. Uh-huh. We got a little bit of, what do you smell? What, what? Oh, I said, are we cooking? Sorry. We are cooking. Oh, yeah, we got to in the kitchen. I got one quick thing. Can you hang on one sec? Come on, what's up? Talk to Kel. Talk to Kel. Larry Newman is getting shit from his wife because he ordered QP on Amazon and it arrived and she's like, what do we do with this? Can you, how can you justify this purchase? QP? So he's well, scrambling. To wait, number one, out. dude. Wait, number one. How much could it have been? How much could and QP be? Uh. It's like four bucks at the store or something. So maybe by Amazon, it's what? Eight, ten? I don't know. How much could it cost? Maybe less. Actually, Fifteen? Amazon. I don't know. Amazon. It is marked up a lot. Uh, Sean bought it from Amazon, and then I think he found out how much is it was it? here locally. But uh, they do mark it up a bit, but not that they much. They do. I'm yeah. gonna check right now. Well, where, where, wait, where does he live? Does he live in a... He just wants to know what to make so he can justify the dude, purchase. Dude, freaking everything, anything. Yeah. anything. Um, well, tell him to substitute Japanese rice. Or... Here, Japanese rice or cooked rice. Over easy fried egg, Japanese mail. Perfect. So good. Amazing, right? That's yep. late night yeah. snack ever. Okonomiyaki. Oh, wait. Maybe that's a little bit too much out there. We won't go into Okonomiyaki because we can't really do that in the show. Oh, it's kind of complicated. You can get it for as little as three ninety nine. Right. Yeah. So here's the thing. Uh, wherever you would use what I just call white mayo, and I don't mean white <laughs> mayo. <Racist. laughs> I mean white as in it's just pure white because if you look at the color difference between uh, Western mayo and Japanese mayo, Japanese mayo has got more yellow in it. Mm. Not as much as mustard, but definitely it's closer to that, right? Yes. I love so, you. We got to hop in the kitchen though. Oh my God. Just talk while I'm just you just trying to help right. somebody that's out there cook. that's getting yeah. crap from his wife. So wherever you would use regular mayo, use this mayo. And I'm just telling you, do this. Take a little bit of white mayo on a spoon and a little bit of Japanese mayo on a spoon and taste test them. Mm -hmm. I'm quite certain that by the end of the taste test, you'll be going like this. Why do we have that white mayo in the house? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Here's what I say. Regular mayo and Japanese mayo are both fat. They're fat-based. <laughs> if you're going to just be eating fat, you might as well eat the fat that tastes better. And the QP, the Japanese mayo, tastes better. All right, ready to go in the kitchen? Yep. Go. Okay, here's what, here's like what I have to do. <laughs> what? He just came up on the basket case. <laughs> or the basket, yeah. whatever. You know, if Steve would make that intro, that little intro to this section <laughs> I like making longer, you scramble. <laughs> we'd be all right. Here's oh, what I'm going to do. Hey, look. QP Mayo on um, Amazon, 550 Yeah. That's I nothing. But what, how much is it? How much is it? But if you, I think if you, buy, if you buy five of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. It'll be 25 bucks and, and then the shipping, shipping is going to be equal. Bucks? Corn. Wait. Go with spinach, mushrooms, mushrooms. Shit. Red onions. I need a red onion. Who's going to get me a red onion? From where? The outside. Fuck it. Right. Oh, man. Hey, hey, hey. Don't show them the garage. I won't. It's dark. <laughs> but now I can't. There's no lights out here. <laughs> Careful! Oh, oh god. god. Oh god. Oh. Sorry. Sorry.
sorry, I sorry. just saw him like book it past. <laughs> What's up, Mom? Go to Facebook. There's some bad... Here you come. There you go. <laughs> I needed red onions. All right, I've got three pans here, and I have to get a few things going in the pans. Wait, three pans for your 17 potatoes? Stop it. <laughs> One of them are uh, mushrooms. Nice. I've got some of these baby portobellos. Oh, that's hot. That I'm going to try and heat up right there. Uh, one, two, three. I need this. I had to make myself notes. I had to make notes <laughs> on what I was doing because I couldn't remember everything. Not that anybody can read that, and I barely can. So, um, we're going to do a little red onion thing in here. So let me just try and peel. Come on, come on, come on, fellas. I love red onions. Work with me. Oh, my God. Who does? Well, I know oh. a lot of people don't. I was going to say who doesn't. Zach, our youngest child, hates any kind of onion. I just thought of another amazing recipe. The blue cheese and red onion quesadillas. Oh, oh the what? That one night. The blue cheese and red onion quesadillas. Oh, we didn't do those? No, that's my favorite. Next week. You know what, Kelly, almost every like couple of days, Kelly's like, oh, do this on the live cast. And I'm like, you know what, where are you when I'm trying to do this work? I suggest all the time you never, You always suggest, ever. no, that's not true. You suggest after the fact. No, Sam, you're so mean to me, you'll never do it. So look at dry pan. I've got these baby portobellos that are already sliced in here. I've got the uh, onions here. I'm going to add uh, these ones. Because we want, we always want more. Because despite what anybody thinks about how much I'm making, I'm making so that everybody after the live cast ends can come in here and and eat away. And I'm going to do a corn thing. Remember, I've got sweet potatoes baking in the oven, and these are things that we're going to put on them. So this is a can of corn. It's just this the whole kernel niblets or whatever that thing is. But I don't want the water in here. <laughs> so I'm going to drain this. I'm laughing at Blake has a new. <laughs> Look at Kelly over there talking about. Yeah. All right, so this corn is going to go in this one. Everything's softening, everything. And it's in real time. Apart from the fact that the potatoes uh, have been in the oven, you know, for Nine 35 minutes. minutes. Not nearly long enough. These guys are all doing their thing beautifully. I think you're going to like what we're doing tonight. And whether this fits... I can't hear Max. I can't either. We can't tell them we can't hear them. Max, we can't Max, hear you. Max, we can't hear you anymore. Oh, there you go. There My you mic go. was down. Sorry. Can you hear him? Um, now we can. Uh, I, I was just saying, baked potatoes. I can't hear anything. Technic oh, okay. I can. I can. Oh, it was his system unplugged. That's okay. I'll just stop talking. No, no he, he's unplugged. Uh -oh. Max is. No, you are. No, I'm not. No, that's where it has I to be. I can hear oh. Max. Okay, okay. I'm. I'm complete. There we go. I'm back. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> What were you saying? I was just asking a question. Do baked potatoes take a long time in the oven? They take about 45 minutes. The sweet potatoes would have. Yeah, but you know what, Sam? You but could I, actually put them in the microwave, cook them almost all the way through. Okay, if you weren't paying attention, we had this conversation with Steve, and I said, I'm not going to do that, because at that point when I remembered, it would have required me going over there and wrapping them up and doing the whole thing to them, and I wasn't well, going to do that. Well, I would have done that. Carolyn wants to know if you put oil in the red onion pan. Why are you yelling at me? Because it's so loud. Jesus, that hurts my, yes. Did you put oil? Yes, apparently. And I'm going to put butter in that in a minute, too. That's yes. The mushrooms, yes. Beautiful. Nice. So good. Steve, can you show this? Absolutely. What's going on here? Nice. Oh, these are. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this may be the night when nothing works out. Oh no. Oh no. They're kind of like rocks. You're cranky from Here, the Here, step potatoes. away from that light. That light is Sam, not very good on you. What? I'm telling you, you're so dumb. See, this is when you irritate me, because you won't listen. I would have put them I'm in the microwave. All right, all right. Here's the thing. Me putting them in the microwave. Why do we have to have this fight on TV? Ask me to do Because this is great TV. Me, no, me putting no, in the microwave just... would have necessitated me coming up here and, and doing this. It. And you weren't helping. Okay, those are not cooking. They've been in there like 11 minutes. No, they've not. They've been in there like now, fucking rocks, man. Yeah, because it's been 11 minutes. Poke them and put them in the microwave. I've poked them. <laughs> I'm about he to said, poke you. What he said. And I'm about to poke you in a minute, and I don't mean in a positive way. No, you never, ever, ever, everybody listen to me right now. Sam will never listen to anything I say regarding cooking. Okay, you know, the laundry kel stays in the laundry room. The dirty laundry doesn't come out here. I, you know Unbelievable. What? Unbelievable. Okay, here, I, have to, I have to fix this light. This light no, I'm, I'm done here. I'm done here. Oh, you'll be back. No, I won't be back. I may be leaving this house tonight and never come back. <laughs> I'll okay, pack your bag. my work. All right, mushrooms, nice, right? Softening, lovely, thank you. Continue to do your thing, I'll give you a little oil. This corn. And see, I want color on this. I want these little niblet guys getting a little color because that's when the flavor comes out. And I say that all the time. And people think, no, it's a burning thing, and it's not a burning thing. We want color coming out in this. Mmm. The red onions now oh, are going to get smell them butter. all the way back here. Oh, no. Absolutely. Check this out. Boom. But we're talking about caramelizing them, and we're going to add, oh. You know, that might be a good thing for the guy with the mayo to make, is the uh, grilled corn, the Mexican corn with the mayo. Oh, Wouldn't that be good? Ooh, the lime. Steve. Yeah. You know, hey, I'm put some, hang on, I'm putting some brown sugar on these uh, onions. Oh, that's my favorite. Mm. I mean, I know they're sweet potatoes, which implies there's already a level of sweetness there, but this is going to be super good. I, I want to actually count how many recipes we've done because I think we're over 100 now. No, well, we have to be, right? Yeah, well, I mean, we we're in episode like 80, 88, I think. 89. Right, we've done at least one per. Yeah, and we've done a couple with a couple. No, we haven't actually actually done one per. At the beginning, when we would have an interview, we wouldn't um, we wouldn't do a recipe. Seriously? Yeah, remember? I think we yeah with like malarkey and with um, chicken Charlie, we didn't cook. Oh, that's true. Okay, I got a big clove of garlic here uh, that I want to put some garlic <laughs> in the mushrooms. Jeff Arnett's right. When mommy and daddy fight, I get scared and sad. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy writes, it's really hot in there tonight. Oh my God. And Shireen, yeah, Shireen, she writes, oh snap, Kelly. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh, what, you know what? I need my comrades. No, I need this freaking paper off of this garlic that I thought I got off. Hold on, hold on Steve, back up for one sec. So the next Im most important thing they have to do to this is just freshen up your drink. <laughs> is, that part of, is that part of Quanta? That's part of, it's, yeah, it's part of. Yeah, I need that too, actually, because you have me stressed tonight. Kelly Wanza. <laughs> Kelly Wanza. <laughs> it's a celebration of us arguing here in the kitchen. <laughs> but just let me say, 26 years. It's been 26 years, folks. Look how amazing these mushrooms are. I mean, the uh, onions. onions. The oh, onions. I want those Amazing. so bad. Mm -hmm. See, here we go. We're starting to get the color right here, right? That is what I'm talking about. You I got some else. I got something else I'm going to add to that. Let me just check my potatoes. Those are pretty good. I don't know why somebody didn't suggest I put uh, <laughs> the potatoes in the freaking <laughs> microwave a little while ago because they would have been fine. But we're doing all right. Oh, man. Corn, green, onion, sour cream. Uh, green onion, sour cream, one. Black bean, salsa, corn. Spinach, mush mushrooms, red onions. Okay, I gotta get something out of there. <laughs> uh, we're doing a little um, 
Oh man, he's so frenetic today. <laughs> a little black bean. Oh, well, he's corn. bringing so many ingredients out. Yeah, it's I, you so. Know what? You just keep bringing shit out. Here's what I it's want. It's really hard for me and Steve when this is happening. I know. <laughs> Here's what I want. I want people to feel like you know what. <laughs> I want to under promise and over deliver. What are those other douchey shows doing? I know what they're doing. They're doing nothing. They're doing stupid stuff with stupid people and they're making like one thing. Oh, pay attention this week. We're going to show you how to melt butter in the microwave. That's the shit that those ass wipes are doing. And that's not what we're doing. We're doing fun stuff here. And if they can watch this show and have fun and see four different ways to make these kind of potatoes that we're doing, why wouldn't they do that? Oh my god, that's what we're doing. Four <laughs> potatoes? <laughs> no, four different types of potatoes. I know. Oh god. I could have sworn we had this conversation. I know, I we did. We had this conversation. I said, oh, you're I'm going to do what I want to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're making like one mega potato. No, I do too. Mega potato. <laughs> Sam. Dishes everybody gets. Oh, the garlic. Yes. Trader Joe's makes an amazing roasted corn. Yeah, they do the frozen one. Yeah. Yes, really good. Mm. That's we great. Well, we everybody go to Trader Everybody go to Trader Lucky's going to hate it. Huh? Lucky's going to hate it. Everybody Lucky go to Trader corn. Joe's and buy that. Stop watching me right now and go there and buy that. But I'm here for the people that don't have that at home. Oh, what's wrong, Lucky? He's scared. He's scared of the corn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, little garlic is going in the mushrooms. Not too much. Okay, a little bit more. It's good. It's good. We're going to turn this down. I'm going to put a little butter there. Nice. These guys. This corn right here, just like this, here's what it's going to get now. Mm. It's going to get some black beans. Uh-oh, you just got called out. For what? Cat writes, hey, I just saw regular mayo in the pantry. What the F? No, I keep... <laughs> no, 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 no. I keep... Of course I keep regular mayo in the pantry because... On the TV show, I don't like to use things that come from a specialty store. It's that simple. How many I more ingredients? These, how many more ingredients? <laughs> That's a good question. These are done. Well, wait do you see what's going to go on with these things. This I should have known when he said, I need three pans. <laughs> oh, I know, no, no, back up, 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 back up. So I had an idea, shit, <laughs> if I can find them. Check this out. I Michael this writes, cooking is so relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> I had this last minute idea about these green onions. I got an idea for this. Watch this. Oh, now he's coming up with ideas, Max. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, watch this. Watch this. Okay, just let me clean up these green onions a little Mad bit. Hold on, hold on. No, no, it's going to be fine. We're going to be out of here in five minutes. Everybody can go do what they have to do. But right now, you're getting about 40 really good ideas on food that you can make. Don't worry about it. Do you want to run to the store and get a couple things? Kara's <laughs> uh, wondering what happened to Lynn. Show you guys back there. No, Lynn's not back here with me. Oh, that was weird. I was looking right at him. He's on a camera. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good. That one's good. That can go off. Mushrooms are good. Ready, check this out. Okay, so some green onions. Or who cooks like this? I know, that's why I'm just, I love it. This is what our show is all about. I know, this is going to be, this, this one's going to be whack. But I'm going to guess that we're going to like it. And I know at this point in the show, especially when I'm rushing, I can't really look up a whole lot because i got to keep my eye on what's going on down here. <laughs> Becky Ray's the best show tonight, too. Oh, freaking God. funny. Okay, and we're Jeff almost there. And Jeff writes it needs bacon. <laughs> okay, by the way, or green something's onions. gonna have just, bacon. Joe, for sure. Just let Where me say, just let me say, here's what I read about Kwanzaa. Of all the stuff that they make, oh. they try not to use pork. No bacon. No bacon. So I'm being considerate of the Kwanzaa ness of the whole night. Okay, we're good. How are we looking? We're good. We're almost there. So these are going there with the salsa, these are going here. Mom's coming in there to beat your ass, Dad. These are good. These are good. <laughs> and I'm right in the middle. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Need a little cilantro. Kelly, that cabinet right there. What? 
See the red La Victoria oh, salsa? Thank you. Salsa? Don't you worry. Check out what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. The potatoes are coming out. Oh, they're not even in there. If I didn't, <laughs> you the went for the even in there if I didn't have lid on camera one, I'd be dying right now. Oh, crap. Yeah. Or Steve especially. Whoa. Oh, that what? one's not very soft. What was wrong with that first one? That wasn't very soft. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa, 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 fellas. What's going on here? All right. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We take a little knife. Jeez. We're going to cut them this way. Sam, nice. it's 8 o'clock. You've been on so long it's tonight. Not 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to put them this way. One. Okay. Boom. Oh, look at that. That's freaking beautiful, man. <laughs> Steve writes, how can I get that fucking potato recipe? <laughs> Lynn, get your camera. You're going to take a picture of these before I eat, all right? Get it. People are going to watch the yeah, actual work there. because if I don't, I'll screw everything up. Quick. Okay, so here's what this is. This is uh, this uh, corn and sauteed corn and black bean, right? Yeah. Like this. Wow. Okay, just just you wait. Just you wait, woman. <laughs> okay. Okay then. All right, sir. All right, sir. <laughs> Sam, you're in rare form tonight. And a little bit of salsa. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't right. Right. Of course, look it looks amazing. great. Okay. Yeah. Too big. Get off. Too big. Okay, good. There's that. Okay. I don't really think through this mushroom one very well. Well, I did think through the mushroom one, but the problem was it was supposed to have spinach, and I didn't have any spinach. <laughs> I forgot to get the spinach. So watch what we're going to do. We're going to put the mushrooms in here. They're going to all be beautiful. Spread it a little bit. Don't burn my, my wood. Actually, that is the most beautiful looking plate oh. I've ever seen, Sam. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. That's okay, amazing. Get something right here, right here, right here, right here. And you know what? Everybody always wants you to do a vegetarian show. That's amazing. So a tiny little bit of Monterey Jack cheese. On wow. Here. That macro lens is going to be happy tonight. Okay, wait. <laughs> I'm forgetting what I'm doing. Dude, the corn. Running out of the shots. That's what you're doing. Uh, no. Okay. Watch this. Check this one out. Watch. Okay. So here's these. Red onions, wow. caramelized red onions with the brown sugar. You want to see what goes on top of this one? I don't know what the hell's going on the last one. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these little French fried onion things. Yes, those are the best. That's amazing, Sam. Too that big. is actually beautiful. The Too whole big. thing. A little bit there. Where's my piece of paper? What the F was going on this last one? Red onion, corn. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check this one out. This is the one that you're going to look at and you're going to go, oh, now, yeah, it's, he's lost it now. That's just stupid. Oh, God, I don't think I have any. Here we go. Sponsor us, Frenches. Right. Ready for this? Cream cheese. Oh, oh man. Really? I don't know about that. Oh, no, no, no. I just like wait. that. Yeah. Who doesn't like this, right? With the cream cheese in there. Oh, it looks so nice. A little pepper and the green onion. No, oh, we needed the green onion. Bam, I like that. There you go. Lynn, do you have a whole shot of the whole thing? I'm sure you need powdered oh, sugar on that, like Sam. Hey, 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 hey. Don't be like that. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, you're so happy with Seriously, yourself. Where is this being done on live? Was it television? What do you call this? Yeah. Live television. Internet television. Who's doing this on live internet television? Oh, fuck. Nobody. <laughs> God. Pull it right back in front of the French's. Here's what I want. I want Sorry. one shot for myself on my own phone. And then we're done. And then we get to eat. 
That's so beautiful. Instagram. That's what oh, she follow said. him on Twitter or follow him on Instagram. By the way, everybody. Yeah, uh, this will be on Instagram. Username oh, yeah. is the Cooking Guy, all one word. Want that out of me? Sorry. Get the photo. What you send there, big boy? No, point that out of me. Oh, you want to see the picture? Yeah, I want to see the picture. How you do? All right, oh, we're Sam's game. trying to okay. steal. We vote done ourselves tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've done a good job. Look what we've got. We'll just recap and then we'll go away. We've got sweet potato with the with the, the pan fried corn, black bean, and the salsa, little cilantro. Sweet potato with the garlic roasted um, uh, baby portolino portobello mushrooms and the Monterey Jack cheese. We've got the sweet potato with the caramelized red onions with brown sugar and those little french fried onions and this crazy ass one down at the end that's got the sweet potato the cream cheese and the green onion and that bite right there this is the one i want to try i know what these are going to taste like this one oh. those look amazing oh my god okay well i'm just gonna eat these myself because you guys said make less don't worry about it so <laughs> f you all Thank you for being here. It's been a fun Christmas week. Tonight, we ended with Kwanzaa. I think we did well. I'm not sure this fits exactly into the meaning of Kwanzaa, but it is a winter root vegetable. It's delicious. There's no meat anywhere, and you could all do this. Anybody can do this. In the little bit of time that we had, one hour and five minutes, we figured, we did a lot of talking, and then we figured this out. So make this for yourselves. Thank you for being here. Next week, End of year celebration and New Year's Eve stuff. I can't wait. Can you wait? No. Can you wait? No. Can you wait? No. Max? No. Excellent. Biggest fails of 2011 next week. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for that. All right, love you guys. See everybody next week. See ya. Thanks See ya.